So hi guys and welcome to the southeast of Spain. Uh, I've managed to find this absolute oasis uh, in comparison to the rest of the terrain. This part of Spain in Almeria is the driest and hottest place on average in Europe with less than 200 millimetres of rain. And yet we can have something as beautiful as this. This only occurs because of the gorged walls of this river uh, system and these nice deep pools. I've come here today to have a look for Spanish terrapins and anything else that you might find here. Let's go have a look. So here we are, surrounded by all the cicadas I bet you can probably hear over my voice. Uh, all these canes behind me, there are frogs everywhere. And I come across our first little terrapin, a Spanish terrapin. Uh, this little boy, because he's got a concave belly and an extended tail, uh, is so cute. Uh, he was found just lying underneath the reeds here in all the algae. Uh, he had no chance of getting away. He didn't even know I was there. But yeah, wasp. I don't like wasps. <laughs> but uh, these guys are the future of the species in this environment. If the water dried up here, they would struggle. Uh, so this little guy is probably about a year old. He would have hatched last year and he's been doing really well since. He's in awesome condition. Uh, and I think he's going to grow up to be a great adult. So now that we've had a little look at this guy, it's time to release him. This is where I saw, I saw the hatchling. Just along here. In these reeds. Terrapin. <laughs> little baby Spanish. So I've just found this little guy. Uh, definitely a male from the length of the tail. Um, and this is a little baby Spanish terrapin. Uh, shows that they're breeding well. This, he's probably about a year old, so I'm just going to let him go. So look, two more Spanish terrapins. Uh, they literally just swam out of the reeds behind me uh, whilst I was in the water. Uh, it's a really good way that I've found to spot the terrapins and also any snakes and frogs around here, um, namely only viperine snakes, is by walking through the water. Uh, it's how I found 90% almost of the terrapins that I've seen. Um, and here we have uh, a male again and a female this time, but uh, obviously, they're not fully grown either. This guy is probably about two, 
two years old, maybe a bit older, and this is maybe three, three years old, maybe a bit older. Um, just thought as I could catch them, uh, I'd show you guys. We're going to go on to, into the night because it's starting to get low, and uh, we'll try and find some adults. That's all I'm trying to find. I want to, I want to show you guys an adult. Uh, so let's leave, leave them back. This is something I'm pretty excited about. Oh wow. A Spanish terrapin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to say hello. <laughs> and I really don't want to be nipped by this guy. Are they vicious, are they? <gasps> They're painful. <laughs> All terrapins and turtles are painful. Let's Let's see. Look, come out. Just leave them on the floor for a bit. We're going to release him back where I found him uh, into the stream. So 